Hello and welcome to another tablet review here from Ricky D's Productions. My name is Ricky and today we're going to be reviewing the new Galaxy Tab S3 from Samsung. The Tab S3 is the best Android tablet I have ever used, with a solid quality build and the software features you would want. This tablet breaks the drought we've had ever since the Pixel C and brings something great to the table. Let's dive into the intricacies of this tablet and see if it's the right one for you. I cannot praise this tablet more on its hardware. It's built to feel premium. Copying from its phone line, Samsung integrated the glass to metal design we've come to love in the S and Note line. And while at first I was worried that sometimes the glass would feel gross in hand or you would get sick of it, Samsung put this very nice smooth finish on it where it's actually just a joy to use. I was also worried about scratches on either side of the glass, but with my time using it, it's still in pristine condition. So it lasted pretty well. It's also very thin and light, so even though it's a bigger tablet at 9.7 inches, it doesn't feel like a hassle to carry around or to lift up when you're reading a book. Overall, I never found a point where I wanted to put down the tablet because it became uncomfortable. I actually wanted to keep on holding it because it felt so great in hand. This tablet also now has USB-C, which is great to see in a Samsung tablet finally. We still get to hold on to that headphone jack as well since Samsung doesn't have any courage. Plus, you also get four speakers now with two on each side when holding the tablet landscape. The model I reviewed was a silver one just because I like the brilliance of it. It's basically a mirror. But the tablet also comes in black if you're looking for something less extravagant. It's also a very pitch black black so it looks really nice. All the additions you would like in this tablet are here for sure and when you're holding it you just won't be disappointed. With Samsung you can always expect a gorgeous display. They always seem to hit it out of the park with their displays and they did it once again with this one. Especially when they combine their Super AMOLED technology with a Quad HD display. The screen is a beauty to consume content on. From the dark scenes of Game of Thrones to something more bright like Caillou, it just never looks like crap. And the darks are dark and your colors are just so poppy. Games on here are delicious as well. Super Mario Run is amazing. The colors are so strong that you can't help but feel delighted. The only complaint that I have is that it is a bigger display. So if you do have something that's low res in a game or an app, it will show a lot more low res on the display itself. That is actually going to be something wrong with the app or the game. But unfortunately, that is something that's wrong with the Android ecosystem in terms of tablets in general. Unfortunately, there's no way to fix this unless we get more support for tablets. Hopefully that gets fixed one day. The display can also get really bright for when you're outside and when you're sitting in bed at night it gets really dim and that paired with a new built in blue light filter it's really just a great read in the night. In terms of performance this thing is rocking Snapdragon 820 so basically anything you want to throw at it it will run from GTA to Super Mario Run. The only thing that actually made this thing stutter was Minecraft when I had it at max settings rendering as far as it could. I moved it down one setting though and it worked just perfectly. Basically, if you're trying to game on this, you'll have a good time, and if you're doing anything else on this tablet, it's fast enough to get stuff done without it being a cumbersome mess. With software in Samsung, the big question is always, when will I get an update? And this year, once again, we still don't have the answer to that question. Currently, the tablet is running Android Nougat 7.0 on the February 1st security update, so it's already outdated. I just hope they keep up with monthly security updates. Other than that, this tablet software looks like any other Samsung device running Nougat with a refresh on design, including the new Nougat notifications as well as a new multi-window support for Android built-in. It's fast, it's pleasant to use, and I have only run into one bug while messing around with it, which is awesome to see on a Samsung Experience device. Now, onto that one bug that kind of pissed me off, which was YouTube and multi-window. I must preface this with the fact that Samsung's old multi-window had no problems with this. Basically, whenever I put YouTube into multi-window mode, it doesn't let me get into the comments page, only full screen, on any video, until I close and reopen the app. I don't know why it does this, but it's really annoying because sometimes I want to see the comments instead of viewing the video in full screen. Other than that, the experience on here is pleasant, and I think anyone will have a great time using that. The final thing on software is what every review says about Android tablets and that there isn't enough app support for them. And while that's true, once again on this tablet, if you can live with upscaled apps, you'll be fine. I've always thought that the S Pen was a cool thing to have. This year with the Tab S3, Samsung had to make a hard choice. Make the pen bigger, make it easier to use, or make it so it could still fit in the tablet. Samsung went with the former, and this year you can get an S Pen the size of a regular pen. And while this makes the pen easier to use, it actually makes me want to use it more, most of the time I actually didn't use it for fear of leaving it somewhere. 
So I did use it, but it became more of a hassle than anything. The S Pen itself is great though, with great recognition and features such as a screen capture to GIF being one I love to use. It's a great utensil dragged down by it being a completely separate entity. The speakers are great, deep, and you get an enriching sound out of it. They don't get super loud, but they get loud to the point where it will fill a room with audio. The battery life in this thing is also great. I basically get 5 hours of screen on time consistently, and I game, watch videos, and read on this thing, so that's pretty great to me. Uh, finally, a couple other things. The pen, when gliding across the screen, feels like it's scratching it. It's not actually doing it, it just kind of feels weird, so watch out for that. I also charge the tablet with a laptop charger, and it charged just fine. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you have nothing else, it will work. Also, watch out for fingerprints because they will be everywhere because of the glass. Overall, this tablet is awesome with very minimal things bringing it down. I honestly can't come up with a reason you shouldn't buy this tablet other than the really big price tag. The new multi-window feature makes this tablet easier for entertainment and productivity, and just the great build quality makes it such a great device to interact with. If you've hated Android tablets in the past, this one probably isn't the one for you since it's still running Android software, and the same Android problems are still there with tablets. But if you've been in between or are using an Android tablet currently, there honestly is no better choice than this one. It's definitely the best in the market, and for that you'll have to pay the high price, but you definitely won't be disappointed. Anyways guys, that's my Tab S3 review. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop those in the comment sections uh, and all the other comment sections too. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to see more, and I'll catch you in the next one.